the world is becoming increasingly more expensive. As I look over my expenses, I'm clearly feeling the pinch. Prices keep going up and it feels like our wallets just can't catch a break. It got me thinking, there will be certain periods in our lives when we'll need to watch our spending without compromising our fitness goals. The easiest to adjust would be food and groceries. Have you seen the cost of seafood these days? They are not cheap. So, what is an option? Canned tuna. Cheap and packed with protein, not bad for a couple of bucks. Each can gives you a solid 18 grams of protein for just over 60 cents. That is a steal. Now, we are going to turn these cans into seriously tasty meals that save us money and help us stick to our fitness goals. Because staying healthy and fit should be doable no matter what is going on in our lives. It's a new day, a fresh chance to chase our goals. But first, breakfast. They say it is the most important meal of the day and I agree with this. It fuels our day's conquest, giving us the energy we need to crush our goals. So let's fuel up with this delicious and nutritious twist on the classic tuna salad sandwich. Packed with protein and a touch of extra veggies, this sandwich is the perfect morning fuel. And there is no mayonnaise inside. We will be swapping it with a Greek yogurt mix and trust me, it only enhances the deliciousness. First things first, we drain our tuna and pop it into a bowl. Next, we are going to mash it up nicely and this helps to break up any large chunks and ensures that our sandwich has a smooth consistency. Now, let's add in the rest of our ingredients. Finally chop the following, celery, spring onions, red onions, they're not perfect, but they'll do the work. Oh my god, oh my god. Dill. And dill pickles. Adding all ingredients to the bowl. giving it a good mix until everything is nicely combined. Wow. You'd think canned tuna. Usually that's not the most exciting, but this, this, wow. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop. I'm just gonna keep eating and eating this and this won't even land on a sandwich. So let's get on it. To end this, you can top this off directly into your bread or it's totally optional, but I do want to just up the fiber, just add more micronutrients into my diet. What I do is slice up some avocado, mash it up, and also top it off with some greens. It doesn't have to be a certain type, so whatever you enjoy, go choose that. You don't have to add five greens into your sandwich. Even just one, any little addition that you think, oh, that's just a few pieces. Yes, but if you do this again tomorrow and the week after, that adds up. So it's just introducing things slowly. You know, make yourself enjoy it. The rest will follow. A healthier life comes not bam. We're just aiming for not only is it nutritious, but we enjoy it as well. So it's always a duo of those. Like we have to be happy with what we're eating or else mm. we're never going to continue wow. this moving forward, mm. which is never mm. our goal. Starting my day with a good amount of carbs really gives me the energy that I need to tackle the day. And I prefer something light for breakfast. So a smoothie or a sandwich like this is what I prefer. Well, honestly, I can have this for lunch and dinner as well, but I'm gonna make something more of a heavier meal and have that packed up for lunch. We are going to be having a Japanese style spicy tuna rice bowl. Just because we're using canned tuna, it doesn't mean we can't make it as healthy as we can and gourmet like the best we can. And I'm telling you, these make the cut. In a small bowl, combine tuna, sriracha, rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, and kewpie mayo. 
place cooked white rice in a serving bowl and spoon the spicy tuna mixture on top. To add more flavor, sprinkle with toppings. My favorites are cucumber, lots and lots of them, and seaweed. Now to make it more of a complete meal, we've got to have some veggies. This tuna rice bowl really matches well with this slaw. Let's start with the dressing. Combine all ingredients and shake until fully mixed. For the salad, cut up your cabbage by slicing it in half, then cutting a triangle out to remove its stem. Once that's done, shred the cabbage into thin slices. Do this for the red cabbage as well. Next, grate the carrot. Ooh, finding the position to grate these are not easy. <laughs> It really brings me so much joy creating delicious, healthy food. Like every time my creation becomes a success, it's just like bliss. That's why I've been sharing more recipes lately because I don't want anybody to think healthy means suffering. So I wanted to make it a good time for everyone to want to be healthy, to stay healthy, and to become the fittest they've ever been. And why not do it together? So thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for trying the recipes out. Green onions. So we're just gonna chop it. And then combining all of them into a bowl. Top the salad with some edamame and the homemade dress. In times where we are tight on money, it is just so important to find ways to be able to stay healthy and stick to our fitness goals without crying over our grocery bills. And that's where canned tuna comes in. But canned tuna is not the only option. In our next video, I go over some shopping hacks that I do to save even more money because that is our goal to make fitness for every stage of our life. I'll see you then.